my name is Christopher Carey and today in this video we're going to solve an equation that uh, is going to require some factoring and possibly running into solving a, a quadratic equation. So let's take a look here and see what we've got. We have negative 5 over 2x plus 12 equals 2x over 4x plus 24 plus 6x minus 1 over x plus 6. Well, anytime you see an equation with a whole bunch of fractions in it, or e even one fraction, you should be thinking about clearing the fractions. And I have an earlier video about clearing fractions if you want to check out an easier example. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult to clear the fractions, because in order to do that, what we want to do is we want to multiply by the least common denominator. That is the key. We want to figure out what the least common denominator would be and then multiply every fraction or every term in this equation by that least common denominator. In order to figure out the least common denominator, we need to factor these denominators. So let's do that. Now, in the first denominator, 2x plus 12, I see a common factor. Hopefully you see it as well. There's a common factor of 2. So let's take that out of there. The second fraction has a denominator of 4x plus 24. Do we see a common denominator there? Yes, we do. It's 4. So we take that out and we end up with 4 times x plus 6. And the last denominator is just x plus 6. Nothing is going to factor there. There's no common factor in the two terms x and 6. So now we need to look at our three denominators and we need to figure out the least common denominator. So when you're doing the least common denominator, you have to make sure that all of the denominators are represented in the least common denominator. So they all have a factor of x plus 6. So that's definitely going to have to be there. And then the first one has a factor of 2. The second one has a factor of 4. When 4 is just 2 times 2. So if we have 4 times x plus 6, all of our denominators are represented. So let's check it out. 2 times x plus 6. Is there a 2 times x plus 6 in this LCD? Yes, there is, because 4 is 2 times 2. So we do have a 2x plus 6. We certainly have a 4 times x plus 6. That's our least common denominator. And x plus 6 is represented in there. So all three denominators are represented in that LCD. OK, so now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply we're going to multiply this entire fraction, this whole thing, I'm sorry, this entire equation by our least common denominator, which is 4x plus 6. So what we're going to end up doing is distributing this 4 times x plus 6 to every single uh, term and every single fraction in this equation. So I'm going to rewrite this down here and spread it out a little bit so you can really see what's going to happen. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to write the denominators in their factored forms. Okay, so we have that equals 2x over 4 times the quantity x plus 6. And I'm spreading this out a little bit. You'll see why, because I'm going to write those um, our LCD when we multiply. I'm going to write it next to each one. So we're going to multiply this first fraction by 4 times x plus 6. We're going to multiply the next fraction by 4 times x plus 6. And we're going to multiply this last one by 4 times x plus 6. So we've distributed this 4 times x plus 6 to, to every part of the equation. And now what's going to happen is we're going to be able to cancel. So this x plus 6 is going to cancel with this x plus 6. And the 2 and the 4 will cancel. 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 4 twice. Then the 4 and the x plus 6 both cancel in the second fraction. And in the third fraction, the 2 x plus 6s cancel. So we did a lot of canceling there. you got to be really careful to you know make sure that you keep track of everything. So let's see what we have left. And by the way, if you did this right on this step, all of your denominators should have canceled out. They should all be gone. And that's that's why we're multiplying by this LCD to get rid of all these denominators. All right, so what do we have left? We have 2 times negative 5x. That's not a minus. We're multiplying. So it's negative 10x. Bring down the equal sign. Then we have 2x. And then we have a plus, And we have the quantity. 6x minus 1. Now that wasn't in parentheses before, 
but I have to multiply this whole numerator by 4, so I'm putting in parentheses to remind myself to do that. All right, so let's see what we've got now when we distribute that uh, 4. So we'll distribute the 4 in, and we get 24x minus 4. And hopefully you're thinking that you can solve it from here. Now I thought maybe we might run into a quadratic equation, but let's take a look at what we've got. Um, all of our x plus 6 is canceled out, and so... Our, and our denominators all had an x plus 6 in it, so it all canceled out so nicely. This isn't a quadratic, and hopefully you remember what a quadratic is. A quadratic is something that can be put in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. The big thing that makes it a quadratic is that it's got a squared in it. We don't have an x squared. If we had an x squared, we would have to set it equal to 0, like this, and then factor it. But this one doesn't have an x squared, so it's going to be pretty straightforward. To solve it, we just need to get our x's on one side and our numbers on the other. We could combine our like terms on the right-hand side first. So 2x plus 24x is 26x. And so we'll get our x's on the same side. We'll subtract 26x. Looks like we're almost done. And we get negative 36x equals negative 4. Let me write that over here. To get x by itself now, you want to get rid of the negative 36. So to get rid of that, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 36. And that's going to give me x equals positive 1 ninth. And that would be my answer. Well, I hope that helped. And again, whenever you see a, an equation that has... Um, fractions you can always clear those fractions and it doesn't have to be fractions that have variables in the denominator it could be fractions that have just uh, constants in the denominator and like I said I have another video about uh, clearing fractions and in that first video you're just clearing fractions that don't have variables in the denominator so you might want to check that out as well